When we are doing the total hip replacement, as I told you, the approach could be surgeon's preference. Once the patient surgeon has approached the patient, then first we have to go for the femoral cuts. Usually, the patient then again mostly patient people most surgeons go for the femoral cuts. Although this is not absolute rule, you can go for the acetabular component replacement as well. And this is how you have to do it. For example, if this is the left hip of the patient, if you can appreciate it, it's it's been worn off. If you see it over here, there's increased whitish area. This is the more normal as uh, cartilage, but the increased whitish area is where the cartilage is deteriorated. If you see it inside in the acetabulum, there is also increased deterioration of the cartilage. This means the patient has full blown osteoarthritis. There is also deformed head. The head is not absolutely normal. Therefore, probably this as the head is now collapsed, that would probably require some form of total hip replacement. Now the first the femoral cut is done. How we do the femoral cut? Once we have approached it, there is the lesser trough. You can other option is to keep uh, your cut one centimeter above the lesser trough. Then again, it's no absolute rule. You have to analyze the patient if is a bit uh, 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 high, uh, long in height. Patient has a lot of height, then probably you have to cut a little higher. Or if the patient has a short stature, then you have probably cut a little lower. The other option is to, if you want to make it absolutely certain, is by preoperative planning. Our preoperative planning would have told us exactly to make the femoral cuts for in the intertrochanteric region. Once we have made the cut, we have removed the proximal area. Then we ream the uh, intermedullary cavity by use of brochures and to appropriate size. Once we have reamed it to appropriate sites, then we uh, put in the femoral component, which is actually not the original one. This is called as tri component, which can be used to uh, look at the uh, for the trial. Once we have uh, done that, we can go for the we can go for the use of other components such as acetabular reaming as well. Once we have completely reamed the acetabulum and uh, also remove all the debris inside as well as the other necrotic femoral head as well. We take the femoral head size and put the acetabular cup over it. Once they have put the acetabular cup, we can go for the polythene liner in the inner middle of it. And once we have done that, we can put in the trial component and we can check the acetabular component size as well as the trial femoral component size. If it matches, there is no offset problem, there is no associated issue, then we can go for the actual original components in form of a femoral as well as the acetabular components. You can appreciate the femoral component is placed in, this is the acetabular component, the in, uh, in associated polythylene, and once we have put the component in, we check for the movement. We check for the movement. If there is any uh, uh, limb length discrepancy, there is any movement problem, is there any problem with the offset of the limb? If all is okay, then we go uh, just uh, put in the components, close it down, and eventually close the muscles in the skin over top of it, and our orthoplasty is being done.